Step 11, WordPress plugins. WordPress plugins are additional software add-ons that extend functionality to WordPress. Using plugins is how we'll build the type of site we want to, whether it be a social networking or community website, news publishing, a discussion forum, or a real estate directory, we'll use plugins to do it. In this tutorial, we'll cover where to find new plugins to download, how to install them via the plugin manager or by uploading a zip file, how to activate and deactivate a plugin, and how to manage a plugin settings. In this guide, we're going to install a plugin called the WordPress Maintenance Plugin. If you're building a site and don't want people to be able to visit it before it's ready, you can install a WordPress Maintenance Plugin that will block normal users from visiting the active content. Instead, they'll see a maintenance message from you. As an admin, however, if you're logged in, you'll be able to see the site normally. For those members that are creating their first live site, you'll want to have your search engine privacy box and the settings set up properly, but also want some double protection by adding this plugin. Even if you're fine with people finding your site currently, installing and activating plugins is the same for all of them. So follow along and install this one, and you can use the same technique to install functionality you want. In later guides, we'll discuss which plugins to install for various functionality. To start with, there are three main places to find new plugins. The official WordPress plugin repo repository, the WordPress plugin repository interface in your backend WordPress site, and from around the web from premium plugin distributors. To start with, let's look at the official plugin repository website found at the link provided in the text tutorial. Using this page, you can find new plugins either by clicking one of the popular tags, looking through the featured plugins, or by entering in a search. For our purposes, we're looking for our maintenance plugin, so type in maintenance into the search bar. My favorite maintenance plugin is the Ultimate Maintenance Mode plugin, which should show up on the first page of results. Click on the Ultimate Maintenance Mode title to go to the plugins page. Most plugins you'll find are completely free. And if so, you'll see a large download button. You can also see ratings and reviews of plugins by looking at the right-hand side column. Click the orange download button to download the zip file of the plugin. Once the file's done downloading, go back to your administration panel. In the admin dashboard, click plugins on the left-hand side menu. Click add new. Click upload under install plugins. Click the Choose File button. Locate the plugin zip file you just downloaded and select it. When managing themes and plugins, you don't need to unzip the file first. With the plugin zip file selected, click Open. Then click Install Now. Wait for WordPress to install the plugin. Once complete, click Activate Plugin. Please note that on some WordPress installs, and depending on how your hosting is, is configured. At this stage, WordPress might ask you for your FTP server information, username, and password. Feel free to enter this in. It's exactly the same information you entered when you were configuring FileZilla. Once we click Activate Plugin, we'll be brought to our plugin screen showing our new plugin activated. Click on the Settings item under Ultimate Maintenance Mode to see the settings. This is where you can enable the maintenance mode. If this box is checked, Users that aren't admins will not be able to see your site. You can enter in a message here that you want users to be displayed instead. Don't bother with these settings now, though, as first we're going to learn how to delete a plugin. Click on the Plugins menu item in the left-hand side. You'll see a list of the plugins currently on your site. Click on Deactivate under Ultimate Maintenance Mode. Click on Delete under Ultimate Maintenance Mode. Click Yes, Delete these files in this current dialog. Now our plugin is deleted. Let's reinstall it using the backend interface. You can install new plugins using the backend interface regardless if they've been installed before. These are two separate ways to find and install plugins. Click on Add New under Plugins. You'll see a search bar. This allows you to search all the plugins, just like on the website we were on earlier. All available free WordPress plugins that can be found on the WordPress site can also be found and searched for in this interface. Enter in Ultimate Maintenance Mode into the search bar. Find Ultimate Maintenance Mode in the search results, which should be the first listing. Click Install Now under the Ultimate Maintenance Mode title 
and follow the same process you did before to install and activate the plugin. You can now decide whether or not you want to keep this plugin. If so, configure it and then move on to the next section. If not, feel free to delete it before moving on. Before doing so, though, please note that any plugin that has settings will usually add a new menu under your settings menu. If you click on settings now before deactivating or deleting the maintenance mode plugin, you'll see a new menu called maintenance. If you install a new plugin and are looking for the settings to configure it, if there's not a new menu on the left hand side, check under your settings menu. Aside from the WordPress site and the backend interface, there are also premium plugin sites available from around the web. Some sites sell memberships to access premium plugins or offer one-off payments. An example of a one-off payment is WPML, which offers a great translation plugin for a set cost. An example of a membership site is WP Mudev, whose plugins we'll cover in later guides so you can decide if purchasing, purchasing is something that's right for you. Once you've joined one of these plugin sites or purchased a premium plugin, you'll have access to a zip file which you can then download and upload during this, using the same process that we did previously. If you have any questions about plugins or which ones you should be using to create a certain kind of functionality, please contact support. Please also feel free to browse the plugin directories and try installing and configuring your own plugins to get used to the process. Once you're comfortable, move on to the next tutorial covering front-end themes.